Hello my lovely viewers, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. And um, if you don't can't already tell by the title, I'm going to be eating what my best friend craved with her pregnancy. She has twin boys. And this is what she craved. Except for this, this one is just my dinner. So we'll keep that on the frame for now. Okay, so she craved, I'm gonna save this one for last, but it's gonna be Oreos dipped in orange juice, is what she normally craved. Um, paydays, and then cold sweet peas. <laughs> All right, let's, I don't like peas in general. And she's also in the background too, so she'll, you'll hear her talk a little bit throughout this video. I think, I'm, I'm a fan of peas, I just don't know about them being cold. Okay, they're bad, actually right? pretty good. <laughs> I really like these. No, I'm good. <laughs> Had enough for your lifetime. Yeah. That's not bad. I do like these. Okay, payday. Payday, what I told her is like, when I'm thinking about candy, I never really think of a payday. Like, that's not really like my go-to type of thing. They're, they're good, I just never crave them. I just feel like it's a plain type of candy bar. I know. I never craved it until I was pregnant. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> I'm eating your dinner, it's good. Oh, um, yeah. I made us a sloppy joke from scratch. It's my first time trying it. I think Kevin's gonna be for the spikes so. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. Where's it's me eating it? Where did he go? I'm gonna try now. The last thing that I'm scared of is Oreos dipped in orange juice. Okay, let's see. Mm. I mean, there's worse things. <laughs> <laughs> My husband just made the ugliest face. Oh, I don't think we got it on camera though. <laughs> Have you ever tried that chocolate orange? Yeah. That's what it tastes like at first, when you first put it in your mouth. You think so? that? Okay, if you guys ever got this growing up, but I think we had it every holiday, Melina, you and I. My grandma really likes it. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I don't even think I've said that your name's Melina. I don't know either. I don't know. Um, yeah, her name's Melina. We've known each other since we were five years old, which puts us at 22 years of friendship. We're that old. Yeah. Yeah. We're old. Yeah, we're old. But anyways, back to the Oreo. Yeah. That's, if you've ever, when we were young, every holiday we probably had one where there, it's like slices of an orange that like fall out into like a thing like that, like a blooming onion type of shape. And, um, they, that's what it tastes like to me. Like one dip in there, like the beginning taste, because you don't really get the orange juice after you taste like the Oreo part. But right at the beginning, it's like chocolate orange. It's kind of cool. And I just got like regular great value. <coughs> <Don't make me. coughs> I choke like this every day and he like literally, like he freaks out every time. He's like, oh, as if I'm actually, cause he's afraid that it's gonna be like a real actual like choke one day. It's just coffee. Yeah, I literally do it all the time. All right, I'm gonna eat my dinner now. Wait, I have a confession to make. You Orange juice and Oreos is a prank. Yeah. <laughs> How did I not know? We just talked about we've been friends for 22 years and I didn't realize she was pranking me. That was really good for my YouTube channel. <laughs> and what's funny is you asked me at the Challenger Tap House and I had to lie in person because over text it was easy. I was like, oh yeah, orange juice and Oreos. But then in person I was like, it was hard to lie to you. Can't question it either. Like, yeah, I'm like, really you didn't crave that, you're lying. <laughs> but yeah, I was a prank, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. My mom, I liked, I actually, I don't 
come for me, but I actually kind of liked it. <laughs> my mom thought I was so evil for doing that to you. You told your mom? Yes. Her mom was in on it? Yeah, she really was. It's been taking you. forever, too. It's been like a month. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yeah. Is it spicy? No, not as spicy as this. <laughs> it's so cool. It's because I couldn't like just do two things. So I was like, I have to come up with something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. Those were my real The pele and the sweet pea. Yeah. Oh, for nine months? No, just months. Oh. Do you have any other pea? Not that I remember. I was telling her I ate like 40 chicken nuggets or something. Oh. Uh, uh, really doing this interview together for yourself? It wasn't a craving though, it was just like I was hungry. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's a lot. I mean, we get like a 40 piece together. Maybe it was like 30, I don't know. It was a lot. I remember they sold the boys. Oh. The boys were born, um, they're nine this year. They're nine this year. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. We're so old. <laughs> um got pregnant at seventeen. Yeah. Pregnant at seventeen. Went to prom pregnant. Mm -hmm. Like through graduation or graduation gown pregnant. We didn't go to the same high school, but um except for you did go to like medical classes on top of that, I guess. Yeah. So kind of sorta. Of. Yeah, just spit. <laughs> um, but She, got, yeah, then you had them at like the end of summer because they were September babies. August. August babies. So they're going to be this coming up month. And, um, why am I drawing a blank on what I was going to say? Oh, on my 18th birthday, the first time that I was when I felt them kick, that was the first time that I ever felt them kick on was on my 18th birthday. At Olive Garden. Yeah, at Olive Garden. And that's where I. Every year my like parent or my mom would like have us choose a place that we wanted to eat out at. And that year it was Olive Garden. And we were just sitting there together and she was like, Phew and I felt a kick. Whichever one, we don't know which one. <laughs> but Zeke still likes you a lot. Yeah, he does. He's like close to you. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's Ezekiel. <laughs> yeah, we hope so, right? It's Ezekiel and Nathan and they're twins. They look exactly how she looked growing up. I swear to you, when they were born, I was like, this is the Amelia, because I've seen her baby pictures. <laughs> yeah. I should throw up some pictures that I have of our childhood right here. Cute. Yeah. Since we're talking about everything. Her mom is like my second mom, and my mom is like her second mom grew up together. I feel like I'm making a big mess in my face. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's pretty spicy. Like, good spicy. Yeah, yeah it's a, what is it called? A Chinese arm wrestling or whatever? If you guys knew that as like a joke growing up, I'm probably getting this in my hair, but I don't care. It's this thing where you tell the person that, like, it's Chinese arm wrestling, whoever, like, lets go or whatever, or he has to keep it up here, you pull it down or whatever. She's pulling, she convinced me, I was, I guess, naive. They were in a Del Taco, like, drive through Yeah. In the back seat. <laughs> and she pulled my hand and I fucking punched myself in the face. I thought it was so funny and sad at the same time. <laughs> She's my best friend, so I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna feel bad. Yeah, which brought us to another story that we were talking about earlier. Um, and behind me is like our dining room to this way. This is actually my childhood home. Um, my mom used to have a treadmill there, and then the computer desk was like right next to it, like old, old Dell computer probably. It was like dial up, you know, internet. And, um, yes, we're that old. <laughs> and, um, she gets on the treadmill and is like running and we were just outside and had been like tanning we were like 
middle school this age, I think. Middle school, like seventh or eighth grade. And we come inside, so we're in like bikinis from tanning, laying out, and she trips and falls on the treadmill. And she's holding on, to, whatever reason, she still decides to hold on to the bars. So I didn't want to fly into the computer. Either. Yeah, yeah, the desk was like right behind her, so she would have like flown right into it. But she's holding on, and her knees are like getting scraped up on there, and she couldn't get back up. Um, probably because of your height, too. Yeah, she's five feet. <laughs> yeah, she's five feet tall. I'm a whole half foot taller than her. But, um, yeah, she's just sliding. Her knees, when she got up, were skinned. They're bleeding. She had scars there for a while, huh, Ethan? Yeah. And you were just laughing, not helping me. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard not to laugh, and then, like, I didn't know what to do to help. Like, I was like, turn it off! Yeah. But yeah, she's sliding her man. We've had, we've had some weird shit growing up. We did this one thing where um, we were, we whatever reason, I have no idea why we wanted to be this. For one, for one Halloween, we wanted to be mud monsters. Do you remember where we got the idea from? Because I don't. It just miraculously happened. I'm sure one of us saw it somewhere and we suggested it to the other. And of course, we literally did everything together. So we're just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and well, her mom took us out to a park that she used to play soccer at growing up. And we took these water bottles full of water and jugs as much as we can or like try. And we just dumped them in the sand that's like out in behind the, the soccer fields. And. <laughs> We just tried to roll around and it didn't work. It was very unsuccessful. But we ha we ended up with like sand on us, not even like actual mud. We didn't bring enough water being that age. Like we, I don't think we really thought about bringing enough water, how much it water creates mud. Like, because it's really dry out here. We live in a desert. We're so dumb. I know. <laughs> I'm like, how embarrassing that story is when I'm actually like telling it. I'm I like, think we have pictures, but I don't know where. I don't know where either. The ones that I have that I popped up here was when we went to the creek, oh, yeah. and then I think I have a couple of ones from just going around to like Monterey Bay, and seeing Britney Spears. Seeing okay, the one of the best memories, and your grandma would actually recognize me now with my blonde hair back. Yeah. So I was blonde growing up, yes, and my natural color was blonde until I hit my. So we're back. Um, I accidentally didn't charge my battery even though last time it died on me as well you think I would learn my lesson but I didn't um it died but we're back and we, I didn't eat any more of anything that was on the table but what was I talking about I was talking about um Britney Spears your blonde hair. my blonde hair and Britney Spears and like we so we went to Monterey Bay Aquarium together and it was her mom driving and her grandma was in the pasture seat and we're in the back and the whole way there, I kept feeling like kind of car sick. And the only thing that would make it stop was when I sang Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> That's such a weird thing. But anyways, that was like such an impression on her grandma that to this day we still talk about that. And that um, my blonde hair like reminds her of like of me and stuff. Or my blonde hair like when I was little because I was naturally. But um yeah, she, we always talk about that memory all the time. What else? What other ones we got? We got to touch stingrays that day. That was pretty cool. I want to go back. Mm hmm. I haven't been since. Are they still closed right now with everything? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. It's far. Did you realize how far it is? I looked it up one day too, wondering how far it is. And I was like, that's like, like a whole, of like, were we gone for more than one day during that trip, or were we? I don't know. Cause I feel like that's not just a trip you would want to do in just a day. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like eight hours or something. Something like that. I don't know about that far, but I mean, even the whole day. Maybe six. Or something. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. But. Amelia brought me some wine, so, and I, I don't know if I want to say that. it, I don't know. So, I'll give you my history with it. 
high school, I smoked a lot, a lot, in like my senior year. I became an adult, joined the military, didn't touch it again until I got out. And then every time I would smoke, I got really bad paranoia. Like I'm talking, I'd be hanging out with somebody, and if they like laughed a certain way, I would just automatically think that like they're talking crap about me. That's like that's where my mind would go. And I always felt like I was really bad, really negative person. So I never, I so I stopped doing it. Hadn't done it for a while. I experimented here and there with different strands to see if I liked it or not. Recently, my husband convinced me to start doing edibles again and then like micro dosing edibles so like five to seven and a half milligrams is what I'm what I take when I do take them now for me I still feel really high whenever I do that but they're really small doses just little gummies and today I did an experiment to see if I can make a good video or not while I have my edible in my system <laughs> while I'm high um I'm cooking yeah um, and cooking and seeing if I can do everything and set it up, yeah. I think she did good. 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 Yeah, I did cook. And I know, normally I like to just snack a whole bunch, like much easier, but I when I'm cooking, but having an actual meal was quite nice. I enjoyed it. I was worried that the bell pepper chunks were going to be too big on the sloppy jump. No, it was good. Yeah, I actually really liked them. I think it was. That's a really good addition to my channel. <laughs> I don't mind you lying to me if it's something funny like that. I'm surprised you liked it. Because I, I haven't even tried it. Should I try it? Mm -hmm. I think you should. You really just like faint chocolate and orange. Look at my nails. <laughs> It does, yeah? Okay, perfect. Because I really, oh, I think I just got... Wow. I, that's what I was like, I was like, am I just high right now that that's what I'm comparing it to? But that's really, like, what it was. That's cute. No, it's not, though, right? Wow, you may have to just discovered, like, something new, like a cheap way to get those oranges. Oh, my God. That orange, yeah. Because those oranges are kind of pricey, aren't they? They're hard to find. Yeah. So this is a new way of creating that taste, if you really like that taste from when you were young. <laughs> huh? It's, all of that's probably going to be in the video. I forgot. I wasn't even paying attention to it. Sorry guys. I feel like there's always something that goes wrong with my video, but it ends up being okay. Yeah, it makes it more... Hopefully I didn't ruin the whole video. Oh no. She's telling who Rhonda is. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, actually, yeah. I, well, I've told them that I have the robot back there. But we named her Rhonda. On the app, you can even like give her like a name. Change it and stuff. And we named her Rhonda. Rhonda the Roomba. And my husband's idea because he said that um, he likes to name things like when he had his he has a charger right now for his vehicle and he named it Cassidy so whatever letter the object starts with he names it starting with that same letter and this one was Rhonda the Roomba and it's named Rhonda after Rhonda Rousey because apparently he says that she sucks like a vacuum sucks <laughs> oh yeah Lisa. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's a little dirty. <laughs> oh, and I'm also going to put another photo up here. Hold on, my battery is dying again. So, I'm going to put another photo up here that my husband sent to me today. And it's pretty cool because I have perfect vision and, like, really good eyesight. Like, I have 20... 
Um, instead of 2020, I'm 2015, which is like better than 2020, if you've never heard of that. But he has really bad eyesight, and um, he apparently has astigmatism that he just told me today. So he saw the lights. There's a photo like that you compare to see if you have astigmatism or not, and I didn't even know that that's like that you could see things like that differently. It's pretty cool, I guess, but I'll fill it up here to you, you guys see if you can find out if you have astigmatism or not. The car lights? Yeah, the yeah, car lights and the street lights. Yeah, he just sent it to me today, and I was like, I never knew. I never knew that they, they viewed it that differently, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, I am Lisa. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like. And I will see you next week. Bye. And a thumbs up. <laughs>